Hey Dan. Yeah? Remember when you painted the ceiling, upgraded the lighting, painted the walls? Yeah. Now everything is beautiful. It is time to finally plug in the kiln. Okay. That sounds good. Here's the electrical cord for the kiln. And uh, so I just gotta plug it in. It, it doesn't seem to, hang on. It, it doesn't seem, to, it doesn't fit. You're an idiot, Dan. You have to upgrade the electrical. Okay, in all seriousness, this is the episode that I upgrade the electrical to this shop so I can power up those kilns. Now, I am not a licensed electrician. This is not electrical advice. I have actually received advice from a couple different family members who know what they're talking about. So I'm gonna take this very seriously and I'm not gonna be an actual idiot about this. Step number one is turning off the power to that box. Shop. Power is off. So I shut off the main power to this whole building back at the house. I am ready to begin. All right, what I have to do is to first hook up this new 50 amp breaker to the electrical box back there. Then run this wire from the breaker to this new outlet. This outlet is what the kiln will actually fit and plug into this 50 amp outlet. And then all of the wire needs to run through this conduit and all these conduit parts. Let's get to work. The breaker goes in the box. To summarize what I just did, I ran this wire through the wall, through the electrical box, secured it in place to the box, ran the hot wires, the red and the black, to this new 50 amp breaker that I installed, and then to this neutral bar in the back, I added the white neutral wire and the copper ground wire. Now that that part's done, I need to put all of this wire into conduit and then mount the new outlet. Okay, so I have it all hooked up. It was kind of tricky to work with wires that are this thick, but got the hot, the black and the red hot wires, the white neutral wire, and the copper ground wire. And it's all running through the conduit and back up to the box that we already talked about. So now I'm gonna cover all this up 
turn the power back on to the building and try it out. Power to the shop, back on. Boom, let's go see. All right, now with the power back on, let's flip our new breaker and see how we did. <sighs> Nervous. It's on. Everything seems good. Heard no pops. All right, now I gotta plug in the kiln. I hope it's gonna be okay. Let's turn the kiln on. The lights are on. That's a good thing. All right, so the kiln is on. Look at those lights. It's actually trying to heat up right now, but look at how terrible the inside of this kiln looks. Those heating elements are not supposed to look that way. That brick is damaged. This kiln needs some work. Now the total of this video wasn't that much actually. It cost about $60 for all these electrical components just to get the kiln plugged into the wall. Now Dan, the kiln looks terrible. How are you gonna repair it? How much did the kiln cost? What's the story of the kiln? All of those questions and more on the next video. So be sure to subscribe to Oak Creek Pottery so that you can see what's in the contents of these two boxes and how I'm gonna use these to repair the kiln. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video. Oh, and hit that like button. You know, the, you know, thanks. Thanks everybody. I do appreciate it.